Apparently Carly and Sophia are in here. Hey, Alex. You need to talk Carly down. I am Judas. I am Judas. I am Judas. She's freaking out. She... Look, she threw herself at Gavin. There's no easy way to say it, okay? So Isaiah said. I am Judas. I am the betrayer. Oh, it's Girl <laughs> Grub is back. Blue fuck is that? What? <sighs> Carly. No, that dude. Alex, don't dick around. Just talk to Carly. Please. I can't do this anymore. I am the sinner. I am the whore. Okay, fuck that. <laughs> okay! Carly, what the fuck happened? Alex, I have betrayed you. I am the sinner. Well, yeah, I fucking know that. I want to hear it in your words. I am Judas. I am the path to Calvary. I am the crucifixion. He promised me silver. That devil promised me silver. Where's my silver? Carly, tell me what the fuck you did. Was Gavin complicit? Silver. I want my silver. This is fucking useless. How am I meant to find any silver? Um... My trusty lighter. Ten years old and still going strong. Um, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Sophia maybe knows something? Hey, you got any money on you? Yeah, there's some in my purse. You can grab it. Where's your purse? Just over there. See? On the seat opposite. <laughs> oh. Grab's holding it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Hi, Grab. Can I- Hey, can you understand me? I need that bag. Can I have it? Is this the weird guy Don said he gave his matches to? Uh, okay. Um. Hey, how about a trade? This lighter for the bag? <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay. Three dollars and four cents. Hopefully this'll do. It's money, anyway. Yeah, I just realized. Lang was able to pay with pounds on this train, but they're in the US, apparently. Yes, I, I uh, I noticed that. But I mean, it's, uh, the person uh, we're playing as, uh, is in their own world, so... Oh yeah, that's true. So in his world, obviously, pounds work. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Here, will this do? Silver. My silver. Gavin doesn't want me, Alex. He wanted you. He wanted you and it kills me. You were the noose around my neck, Alex. You. Gavin wanted you and you sent him into the cold. You sent him into the earth. What the hell do you mean, into the earth? Oh, you poor, sweet dear. You have no clue, do you? Not really, no. If only he could have explained. He wouldn't face me. I tried, Carly. God, I tried. I wanted to meet up, to try and talk it through, but he wouldn't. Just terse phone calls that turned into text messages that turned into nothing. Almost as if, almost as if, we only want to protect you, Alex. All of us only want to protect you. Okay. Um. What? Oh. oh. Okay. Well, you're no fucking use, are you? I feel like Grub has some... Definitely some part to play here. Yes. <laughs> okay. A 
picture of a boat sailing on what appears to be an underground river. There are people under the water. I think it's meant to be the sticks. Woof. Creepy. Yeah. A weird looking man in a weird looking hat. His eyes follow me around the room. Okay. I guess we leave? Yeah. Let's see what's unlocked now. <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh, okay. To see. Oh, I okay. I, I'm just I'm, I'm just presuming Lydia's gonna be dead in here, but we'll see. Hope not. Oh, she's surprised Alex. to be alive. Hey, I missed you. I keep hearing weird noises on this train, and a man keeps looking in at me through the door. You mean Don, the conductor? No, a strange man. I've never seen him before. I don't like him. I want my daddy. My daddy's gonna get me from the station. He said he got me a present. I hope it's a doll. I collect dolls. Oh. Oh, Lydia, sweetie. Oh, what's your daddy's name? Rob. My daddy is called yeah. Robert Crow. Oh, God. I thought so. Do you know my daddy? Yeah. Yeah, I... Your daddy misses you very much, Lydia. Very, very much. This... This train journey you're on. Do you remember how it ends? I remember a man and a doll. It was cold. We got off the train early. He said he was my daddy's friend, and then... And then I'm back on the train and we're going to see Daddy. I can take you to see your Daddy right now if you want. Mm-mm. That's what the man said too, but he had a doll from Daddy to prove it. Okay. Well, she was definitely abducted. Yep. I guess we need the porcelain doll from... 1A. Yeah. Okay, the door still opens. So we can definitely come back. Okay. Okay. It's weird that it's the same, but I'll I don't Rob. want Rob to get this back. I'll take it. How how long ago could that have been? I mean, when when his daughter was kidnapped. Yeah, that's true. He doesn't seem that old. Yeah. So it can't be too long ago. I mean, I don't think he said, did he? Right? He just said like, "Did I tell you about my daughter?" No, he never said anything uh, mm. more specific. But you could, you know, conclude that something uh, that she is no longer, <laughs> you know. Yeah, because he did Here. say something about, like, yeah, exactly, that she's dead. Um, because he did say something about that searched and searched. Like, it sounds like she's been gone for a while. Yeah. In a few years, maybe? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, that's the feeling you get. Oh, I guess she's... I guess the point is that she's been on the train all this time, waiting for someone to give her peace? Hmm... Maybe? Maybe? Hey, Lydia. I have something for you. <gasps> oh, wow! That's the doll I saw with Daddy! You really have met him! Yeah, but do you want to go see him? Yeah, let me just... Hey, who's that? Lydia? Lydia? Something was dragged on the floor. Oh. Oh. Uh. You're in a bag. Let's have a look. It's... It's full of dirt. The dirt's moving. It's full of worms. Oh, God, gross. There's something in there, too, but there's no way I'm plunging my hand into that teeming mess. Okay. Try everything? I'll just scoop some of this dirt away. Alright, cool. Party hat. <laughs> huh. It's my knife. I'll take that. 
I guess this means she is packed away now, found peace in a sense. I guess. Guess. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. I mean, huh. the door is no longer is open. That music coming yeah. from the bar. Is Floyd finally back? Because I could sure use a fucking stiff drink right about now. Alright. Okay, no rotten food yet. Hi, Floyd. Hey. Uh, hey, Floyd. Ah, yes, Miss Davenport. So nice to see you again. Please take a seat. I'd rather stand, but... But... Gavin. Hello, Alex. Oh, Gavin. Oh, God, Gavin. See your face again. <laughs> How could you leave me like that? How could you do this to me? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me what an ass I was being? What that I could, sweetheart. What do you mean? It was uncharacteristic, wasn't it? I mean, we've had fights before, haven't we? Yeah. I just... You told me you were sick of it. Sick of me. You hurt me so fucking bad, Gavin. You reached into every single wound you know I have and poked the fuck around. All because I made a mistake? A mistake you could have so easily rectified? Let me pour you a drink, babe. Fine. Gin. Straight. must all be so confusing. I... I wasn't prepared for all this. I thought I'd led a simple life. I thought this would be easy. It's never easy. Everyone has secrets. Even that Lang fellow. You'd think he'd be the most boring guy in existence, but he had a lot of skeletons in his closet, let me tell you. Why are you here? Why are you on the train? How long have you been here? Since you came aboard. It's different for whoever rides old Gloria. There's always a Don, there's always a Floyd. But for you two, they were us. We're all connected in ways you were only just beginning to understand. This is bigger than us, Alex. We are all the children of Augur Peak. And we're all going home. You can thank Katerina when you see her. She's found something on that island, something that's changed the sepulchre forever. Anyway, you'll find out soon enough. Kat's story is a tale for another day. Yours hasn't ended yet. And what about Lang? I, I can't talk to you about Lang. Why not? Because I want to talk about me. Huh. How unusual. Hey, we're not fighting anymore, remember? Sorry. Sorry. I've just grown so used to hating you lately. Those times on the phone just after we broke up. You were so hurtful. So hateful. And it killed me too, Alex. The things we're forced to say with a gun to our heads. What do... Call me, Alex. It'll explain everything better than I could. What the hell? Okay. Rob? Gavin? Explain. You'll never guess who I bumped into as I left your party that night. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, Alex. It was meant to be. It was so perfect. There he was, weeping in the hall, and there I was, the good neighbor, your friend, with a shoulder to cry on and a pot of coffee on the stove, so he could give you some time without going too far, so he could wait it out, make his triumphant return after your friends had left. Everything would have gone back to the way it was. He would have continued defiling you, I could hear you both, you know, through the walls. Hear the terrible things he did to you. How he forced you to moan in pleasure, to pretend to be enjoying it. How you were conditioned to be debased and defiled by these dirty fucking boys. That's fucked. That's so, so fucked. I am not some victim for you to save from consensual adult relationships. Robert, I'm not your daughter. I am not Lydia. What the fuck do you know about Lydia, Alex? Mm, tip for tat. Let's exchange stories. Um... 
Your ex-wife put her on the train to come meet you. You abandoned her on a train. She ran away from home and got a train. Hmm. I mean, this sounds most... The ex-wife put her on the train to come meet you sounds most... Like what... She told us. Yeah. Yes. I mean... Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. She was coming to visit me. My dear, sweet Lydia. I mean, she's too young to actually buy a ticket and board yeah, a train. Yeah, yeah, right? Like an 80-year-old can't just go and buy a train ticket. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you forgot to pick her up from the station. She wasn't on the train. You met her at the station. Um, she said she went... She got off early, right? Yeah, the, mm, Or someone. Mm. Um, yeah. Someone, someone told her. Um, her dad was there or something. Yeah, yeah, that she, he was a friend of her dad, and they got off early. Something like that. So I guess this, she wasn't on the train. Yeah. She wasn't there. We searched the train, frantically. Nobody could remember seeing her. Couldn't remember where she'd gotten off, if she'd even been on in the first place. They sent you a ransom note, they found her body the next day, they never found her. They never found her, right? They never found her, yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Eventually they gave up searching. But I knew, I knew, Alex, that my baby was out there somewhere. Dead. Just waiting to be found. That I couldn't save her. But then I met you, and I saw how you needed saving. You remind me of the woman Lydia would have grown up to become. I'm not your fucking daughter, Robert. Now tell me about Gavin. Well, I couldn't have that... that dirty boy putting his hands all over my beautiful porcelain doll. I couldn't have it. I'm a pharmacist, you know. I know how to do things to people. To drug them. To knock them out. To paralyze them. A few cuts here and there. A few threats. And I know how to make them say what I want them to. You should have... Oh, you should have seen the look on his face as he made those phone calls to you, as I pressed the knife to his balls and whispered, Keep going. And you should see him now, four months and still alive. Had to remove his other leg last weekend. No good now. Not with the gangrene. Amazed you've never noticed the smell. It's incredible how compliant someone is when they know the person they love is just across the hall. Incredible how easy it is to keep someone alive while locked in a tiny, tiny room. And... and he wasn't dirty anymore. I cleaned him up. I did. Made him a porcelain doll. Just like you. A frozen porcelain doll. Kevin, this isn't true, is it? This is just one of the sepulchre's fucked up fantasies. It's true. I'm there. I'm alive. Of course, so is Robert, at least for the time being. It's probably about time a neighbor noticed the smell and called the cops. Would you like that, eh, Robert? No, I like you better with your tongue cut out, Gavin. Well, that explains why the phone calls stopped, Alex. Well, there's not much left to take. He's just a head on a torso now. Oh, it's beautiful, Alex. He is the perfect man. You are so, so fucked up. You are fucking fucked. I hope you fucking die and rot in hell, you piece of shit. What is going on in here, kids? That Langfellas trying to get some sleep. You're all screaming loud enough to wake the dead. Evening, Floyd. Evening, Donald. Hi. I see how it is. Made fair good time on this one, lassie. Floyd, a whiskey, if you'd be so kind. Coming right up, sir. Anyways, don't let old Don get in the middle of your dramatic revelation, kids. Don't mind me. I'm just taking the weight off my feet. Pretend like I'm not here. So now what? You have to end this. Okay. I guess we just kill him. I guess. I mean, how else do we end? Um, I don't... Use a knife? I mean, that's the only way, I guess. Yeah. I don't know how else we end it. Die, Rob. 
Oh, or not. Lloyd. Donald. Don't reckon that's how it was meant to go. Do you? Can't say I do, no. This one. He's reaching through, isn't he? Looks that way. Oh, Logger's not going to be happy about this. I guess that's just the way it goes sometimes. Can't interfere. Cassell? No. Don't! Sorry. I don't want to be alone right now. You can't hear me anyway. I wasn't... I wasn't prepared. Not for this. I thought I'd see him. Keith. My father. Instead I found... this. I don't know what was real. Rob, Gavin, Carly, Lydia, and you, Dr. Harold Lang. I bet you thought you weren't going to make it here tonight, like I did. I don't think either of us made it here tonight. The train's stopping. I hope you wake up, Dr. Lang. I hope we both wake up. Okay, this is not a train. Um... I presume this is the woman in the photo, from the train? There's yeah, not there. Alex. I can barely see the town. Well, that's gonna make today's work even more fun. Goddamn. Still, Harry and Alex should be here later today. Oh, maybe it's Cat. I hope they had a safe journey. Oh no, maybe it's Cat on, on, on the island. Yeah. Uh, is that the ending? Apparently so. Yes, because now there are credits. I think it's supposed to imply a sequel that doesn't exist. Yes, at least.
Okay, I guess that was uh, the uh, the next game, which, as far as I know, don't doesn't exist. No, I just checked. Uh, apparently, this is it, at least for now. Uh, this game came out in April 2015, so maybe they reckon or something. But I just checked uh, their official website yeah, during yeah. the credits and. Uh, I can't see any like announcements or anything. Uh, yeah, no, because it says it said 2016, and that's obviously gone. So yeah, they like, were planning uh, at least, but it's not. Yeah, whatever happened mm. to that? Well, hopefully one day they will if <laughs> they will uh, make something. It's Siberia free. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, really, yeah, exactly, like, exactly. <laughs> I remember I started my YouTube channel in 2010. And Siberia 3 was announced, and I remember like writing like upcoming walkthrough of Siberia 3. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, maybe <laughs> we'll see Eternal House too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That would be cool In... though. Like, it was a really 2020. cool story. Like, <laughs> yes. Very dark, but like, and, and strange, twisted, or whatever, but interesting. Yeah, I totally agree. It was. Uh... It would be nice to be able to to play more of this uh, game, yeah, for sure. Were, yeah. What 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 is up with Augur Peak? Why is that a thing? Apparently. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. But yeah, yeah. it was an experience. Uh, <laughs> even though you didn't have sound. Yeah, I'll have to watch uh, watch this later. Yeah. <laughs> when you upload it. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, a little darker than I usually have on my channel, but it's all good. Different different stuff. To put a disclaimer, I think. <laughs> <laughs> my channel is so like non-dark and non-sweary. <laughs> to put it like... Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's cool. A little different thing. Well, yeah, I just finished Outlast 2, so this was like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I know. The Outlast 2 is like, this is nothing. <laughs> I tried to watch Outlast 2, but I was so disturbed by the story that I was just like, no, I can't. <laughs> I can understand it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to watch yours again, I don't know, but... Anyways, this is it for the Charnel House Trilogy. Um, thank you for being here to play this game with me. Well, uh, thank you for inviting me. It was a pleasure. It's always fun playing together, yep. and we'll do more. No worries. And uh, I hope everyone watching enjoyed. And um, yeah, we'll do more stuff. So we will see you all later.